Hey guys. One second, I'm just embarrassing. So I'm just put on Tesco's in a mini food shop because mum had extra vouchers so she got uh, lunch vouchers for Nathan but uh, the amount we got we're not going to use even like anytime soon so she kept out a 15 pound Tesco voucher so I used it and I bought um, some of the basics we need but I also got some food for a food challenge that's been going around that I thought would be fun to do is something different on my channel so I'm gonna film that tomorrow I don't know if that will be I might make it Wednesday's video instead of the uh, tech video I had planned I also need to film my MacBook video and something else I wanted to film tomorrow too but I can't remember what it is so I'll have to figure that out but no um I'm going to film that video tomorrow so keep your eyes out for Wednesday's video to see what all the food is and why I bought it but now I'm just going to drive home and relax because I'm in pain Hey guys, so it's Saturday and it's half past eight. I didn't upload a video last week and I haven't uploaded a vlog either. Uh, I'm gonna try and upload, oh, it'll be like two weeks ago now, it's a video vlog because it wouldn't go up for me. And the reason why I didn't film anything this week is because mentally I've just not been in a good place. I've just had a really hard week for some reason. Um, I've been stressed out. I I've just been reclusing myself um, other than spending time with Nathan and watching movies I haven't done anything and so I just didn't pick up the camera I didn't feel the need to pick up the camera I'm feeling better this week and I think some of that is because I've been able to go out and do stuff so the cinema opened this week and taking all the precautions I need to I was able to go to cinema today and I enjoyed two movies I had a stomach thing so I came home not feeling great but other than that I'm just kind of enjoying being able to go out and do stuff and now I just watch Harry Potter possibly sleep charge my phone and relax but I thought I'd fill you in and hopefully this week I will be able to pick up the camera more and I'll just feel more up to sharing I'm sorry that I didn't film anything for you in the previous week and hopefully you guys all understand and still support my channel hey guys so i actually haven't filmed in a couple of days so over the mess we're actually uh decluttering our house so that's all stuff that we need to take to the tip laundry etc um i don't think i've actually told any you guys yet because just because i haven't i've officially booked my tattoo in for next friday and i picked up the aftercare kit i'm gonna need so this is the original tattoo goo uh after tattoo aftercare kit uh it comes with four things it's 12.99 from super drug i'll leave it linked down below i'll also find if there's a also if i can find it i believe they've got their own website so i'll link that down below as well this is staying at dad's actually because it's getting done on friday so i my mask i'm picking everything up and i'm heading back to mom's it is wednesday and it's about one o'clock half past one and I went cinema yesterday, I didn't end up going cinema today, but that's okay. And yeah, I just thought I'd fill you in and I'll fill you in some more when Nathan's gone bed. I haven't had a chance to upload a video today, so it might go up tomorrow instead, but you'll already know that by the time you see this video, so. I felt like I was having a pickup 
but it's not. It's he's the hair. It's in a braid because I'm about to go to sleep. It's like 10 to 10 that I feel like death warmed up. I feel like I'm almost sick, so I want to say I'm just going to go to sleep. But. Okay, let's start with the good news. My mom gets a mobility car, which used to be changed during lockdown. Um, that's been lifted to an extent. We went in today and we are getting a, we are swapping the Kia Sportage for a um, Hyundai um, Tucson SE Nav. I'll link the website down below if you're interested. I'll link the mobility website and I'll also link the Hyundai website. On to last good news. My dog has been sick. She physically threw up on Thursday. It's just been, obviously. And we thought nothing of it. She has always struggled with heat and we've had a suddenly increase in heat here in the UK. And so we just thought, oh, okay, you know, let her relax. Friday, she was a little there, but again, we thought, this is normal, she's been sick, it's the heat. So day came around, she didn't eat anything. She didn't really move. So my mom rings a free vet clinic who says it's probably nothing, give it 24 hours. On Friday night, she was sick again, sorry. On Friday night, she was sick again, she didn't really eat anything after throwing up on Thursday. <sighs> So my mom rings them up on Friday and they say we'll ring back in the morning. It's probably nothing. Okay. My dad goes over and helps on a Saturday. She perked up a little bit and they never ring back. And because she had perked up, my mom and all of us thought, oh, she's fine. She still didn't eat. She was drinking water, but not, it was increasingly dripping, dropping in the amount she was actually drinking. And we obviously hadn't noticed at this point, but looking back, I can sort of see how she wasn't drinking as much the, as the previous time. Sunday comes around, she still doesn't eat anything. Doesn't really move or she just sleep. Monday, Tuesday comes around and she snuggled up with me most of the day and all the night. She eats the tiniest amount of scrambled egg and then a few hours later pukes it up and it's all liquid and then proceeds to lay outside. She doesn't move unless you pick her up and carry her everywhere, she didn't move. Now, my dog, Dory, she's a Pomeranian uh, Jack Russell mix. She's very hyper. She is a very lickable dog. She likes to greet you. She likes to be your friend and play she is cuddly but she's not an overly cuddly dog she'll kind of cuddle for five minutes and then she wants to be put down she wants to run around she wants you to throw a ball she wants to play tug of war all these things and she's only two and she wasn't doing any of these things and we were worried by sunday anyway so we go she lays down with my mom and she sort of keels over and falls off the couch my mum rushes her upstairs and she seemed fine. She seemed to recover. She wanted to snuggle with me and that's what we did. She laid in Nathan's room and we get up because she can't rest and she throws up white, like phlegm light liquid and it's foamy with some like foam on top. And I pick her up because I don't want her to eat it. And she goes fully limp in my hands. And so I panic, and this is like three o'clock in the morning, three, four in the morning, and try and put her down. And I'll pause, she can't hold herself up. So we ring this emergency bell again, who and at the same time as my mom's on the phone with them at like 4.35 in the morning, I'm ringing my dad because at this point Nathan's in bed. And I'm freaking out and I'm in tears. 
and say my dad comes to the rescue and takes my mom and the dog to the vet. When they keep her in, they do the blood test, nothing comes up. We agree to fill the blood test. She gets for free because my mom's medicine and her hip and stuff, which is um, hard to do with her health. And it shows she has a very high amount of potassium in her bloodstream. Not good. They want to keep her in, she's gone too drip, she parked up. Well, while we were sorting the car out, they claim they tried to ring us, but mom's phone never rang. And it turned out that her heart had stopped. <laughs> they managed to get it going again and her kidneys seem to have failed. Um, she had a 50 50 chance. And so we're now in the critical 24 hour period. And we got this phone call to say that her heart had stopped. They'd managed to get it rebeating, and that actually she seemed to be more perky after all this <laughs> at about 2 o'clock. Um, as I said, it's now like coming up 10 o'clock. So this was eight hours ago. So we are eight hours into the 24 hour mark, kind of critical countdown. I'm sort of praying that we don't get a phone call. I mean, I doubt we'll get one until morning anyway, but. <sighs> it really sucks. So no news is good news as far as I'm concerned right now. And I'm hoping for the best. It does look like we're gonna have to change Dory's lifestyle a little bit. We've been, been taking her for like three walks a week. We're gonna have to increase that. And I wish, you know, hopefully, knock on wood, she makes it through this. Nothing bad happens. Um, I'll have to change her diet so, like, the food she eats, how much potassium she takes in, exercise, increase, um, making sure she's drinking enough in the day, and making sure that it's distilled slash tap, but not distilled slash sort of bottled, filtered water, not chemical tap water, sadly, and to also make sure that she's getting enough nutrients so making sure she's drinking the milk we bought her and all these things <sighs> this sucks it really sucks and i know what people are gonna say she's just a dog but she's my best friend and that sounds really sucky but like and cheesy and corny and all those things but it's true like she's she's always sort of been there she was there when I got diagnosed with anxiety and depression and all I wanted to do was cut up in bed and cuddle and watch movies and cry so yeah she's currently at like at the vet clinic slash hospital and I'm simply hoping for the best dad's gonna come over to mom's tomorrow with me and he's gonna ring them because neither me or mom can really think or talk about it without getting emotional so that's my update on this week uh, it's also tattoo week so this arm will officially have some body art on it on Friday but I think for another tattoo design I might get like paw prints on my thigh not my thigh, my calf here with her name because either way I want her with me all the time I'm going to bed now because all the crying and upset and the ups and downs of today has given me a major headache. Don't worry, I should go get a painkiller and I will speak to you guys tomorrow.